Look at you, eating a rice ball all alone. This is enough for me. Is that seriously enough for you? Oh, we're actually gonna go to the karaoke later. We can take you if you want. I have work. I was doing the regular interaction I always have between my classmates, and they started laughing at me and making fun of me. You know how that is. My name is Kazuyuki Kusanagi. I'm a freshman in high school. I live a quiet and regular life, and people seem to mock me for it. Must suck being poor. Are you sure you're gonna make it all three years? If I don't go crazy and want to live lavishly, sure. Just make sure you try hard not to be homeless. As they walked away, the school Madonna walked up closer to me. Her name was Haruna Asamiya. She's beautiful and calm, and she was popular amongst men and women. Hey, Kusanagi, if you want, you can have this. She gave me some eggs to share. Thank you as always, but you really don't have to worry about it. You really don't have to be like that. Make sure you eat or you're going to be sick. If you get sick, you can't do anything. She's incredibly kind to everyone. Even though I'm a poor loner who's mocked frequently, she still helps me out. She was like a goddess to me. Thank you. I promise I'll repay you. You don't have to thank me. We gotta help each other out, right? You can count on me when you're struggling, okay? She didn't want anything in return for her kindness. If the world was full of people like her, then we'd have world peace. Miss Asamiya! Would you like to go to karaoke with us today? I'm sorry, I'm busy. What? You're always saying that and turning us down. What about if he asked you? Eventually. She's turning them down again. She was popular. So much so that people asked her to go out every day. But I'd never seen her accept an offer, ever. Haruna doesn't want to hang out with idiots like you. What? Her friend helped her out. It seemed like she was taunting them, but I agreed with her. Don't fight, guys. Seriously, I'm sorry about today. No, you don't have to apologize. We won't force you either. Even though the mood was kind of crummy, she seemed to calm everyone down. She was truly a goddess. I finished my part-time job at the restaurant, and I was heading home. The store manager understands my living situation and helps me out by sending me home with leftover food. It was allowing me to save a lot of money. It really is nice that there are so many people who are kind. I need to repay him one day. Please, stop! Let go of me! I heard a voice a small distance away that sounded familiar to me. I started running in a hurry. Come on, you should hang out with us. You must have run away from home or something if you're out this late, right? If you come with us, we'll make sure you have a place to stay too. N no I'm not some kind of runaway. I was just working my part-time job and got out late. Huh? You work some kind of night job, huh? I mean, you're cute enough to be walking the streets. We'll be your customers then. It's not like that at all. You two are the worst. You think you can do whatever you want as long as you have the money? Who the hell are you? K kusanagi What are you doing here? Miss Asamiya was surprised and the men who were messing with her looked at me with hatred in their eyes. Just so you know, I've already contacted the police. I had a loud buzzer going off. It was loud enough to be heard everywhere. What the hell? You think we're playing around? I don't mind you messing with me, but you really should run away soon, don't you think? If you take too long, the police are gonna show up. Screw you! Hey, we need to get out of here! Leave that moron alone! If the police show up, we're screwed! Damn it! Don't think we'll forget! After the men were gone, I stopped the sound of my buzzer. I didn't think that they were small time like this. They were so easily spooked by some loud noise. Uh, um, Kusanagi, thank you for saving me. About the police. Oh, I was just bluffing. I guess they couldn't calmly think about it because of the loud buzzer. Oh, I see. You always carry around a buzzer? I always come home late from work. You should carry some kind of self-defense thing, too, since you're coming home so late, too. I yeah I'll be careful next time. I'll send you off to your home. I think it'd be annoying if you were messed with by some weird people again. Uh, hey, that's probably too much trouble for you. Don't worry about it. Consider it a thank you for always sharing your food with me. Uh, uh, but... Your legs are trembling. You're probably terrified from being messed with earlier, right? Wouldn't you feel safer going home with someone you know? 
She seemed to think about it for a second, but she finally agreed with me. It's right here. Did I surprise you? The apartment I walked her to was a piece of crap apartment. I lived in a pretty bad place too, but it was a pretty good contest of which was worse. She seemed like it was awkward. She probably didn't want me to know where she lived was so dirty. Go ahead and come on in. I'll give you some tea as a thank you for sending me off. When I went inside, I didn't see anything extra. It was the absolute bare necessities to survive. Here you go. I decided to accept her offer of tea. I'm sorry if I'm being rude, but is your life tough? Yeah, after my mom divorced, it's just me and her. But you always shared your food with me anyway? I figured you were in the same boat as me, so I couldn't leave you alone. Even if our day-to-day -day lives are tough, we have to eat, right? If you don't eat, you'll get sick. I understood what she meant now, and what those words meant to her. If she gets sick, she couldn't work, which meant a lot. If she can't make money, then it's very possible that she'll die. I guess it's not just a matter of saving money, huh? In order to stay healthy, you had to eat. And as a result, you had to spend money on food. You were sharing a valuable source of energy with me, weren't you? Oh, don't worry about me. We gotta help each other out, right? You're still trying to help others when you're struggling. You're too kind. Even when I'm struggling, I don't want to forget about how I want to help others. That's what my mom always says. She seems like a good mom. Yeah, I love my mom. Do you always work this late? I'm done with work, but I also work at a restaurant, and the people always helps me out with food. But then it gets late, so... You're the same as me, huh? I think the fact that we stumbled into each other means we probably work fairly close to each other, huh? If we're going to be going home around the same time, I'll always send you home. That's too much to ask. I'm sure you're tired from working too. Something might happen to you again. We gotta help each other. That's what I say. It's not like you have that line copyrighted, right? You always help me, so I want to help you too. Let me repay you. But... You really should learn to rely on others. Don't just carry it all yourself, okay? If you're okay with it, then I guess I'll ask you to help me out. Sure, of course. Then we exchanged contact info and went our separate ways. We did end up working in part-time jobs close to each other. We decided to wait for each other in a place that was well lit, and I took her to her house every night for a while. Eventually, we started getting to know each other better. After a while, she seemed to have taken off school because she was sick. Her mom wouldn't come home until later because she worked late. Right now, only she was at home. I was worried about her, so I couldn't focus on class. I wonder if she's okay. Are you okay, Miss Asamiya? I'm fine, thank you. When I sent her a message, she replied saying she was fine. But I knew that with the way she was, she would lie to try to not worry me. After school was over, I messaged my part-time job and headed to Miss Asamiya's apartment. I rang the doorbell, but I didn't get a response. I figured she must be asleep, but I was worried maybe she was too sick to respond. The door was open, so as much as I felt bad, I let myself in. I'm coming in! After I came inside, I saw Miss Asamiya in her futon asleep. I got closer to confirm that she was okay. Kusanagi? Sorry, I didn't realize you were awake. I let myself in because I was worried about you. Thank you, but I'm okay. She said, but her face was a bright red and she seemed to be struggling pretty badly. Sorry for this. I put my hand on her forehead. You're burning up! What's your temperature? It's not that bad. You're lying! Tell me the truth! Oh, one oh two. But when's your mom coming home? She won't be home for a while. She's got to work. She's at work as usual, without taking care of her only daughter in a condition like this? It wasn't that bad this morning. It just started going up really high in the middle of the day. What about food? Do you have medicine? I don't have an appetite. I haven't had any medicine either. Why don't you eat when you're so sick? You always talk about being healthy. You really shouldn't be alone. You should contact your mom and have her come home. No, I'll end up being a bother for my mom. Now is not the time for that. What are you going to do when your mom comes home and sees you in this condition? 
But I already took off my work and caused trouble for other people too. If my mom takes off work, she'll have to cause trouble for people at her workplace. You're still worried about others, huh? You remember how I said don't just make everything your own problem? I'm sorry, but I'm not going to leave you alone right now. I'm going to call for some help. Who are you going to call? I left the room and called someone. How are you, Miss Asamiya? I feel great, thanks to you. But where are we? It's a huge mansion. It's my parents' house. Huh? I contacted my parents to have them pick her up. I had our private doctor see her, and a maid bring by a nutritious meal. I also had her help Miss Asamiya change out of her sweaty pajamas. She took some medicine and had been sleeping in bed since. My house is actually a very wealthy family, but if I live here with no struggles, I won't know what it's like to not have any money and struggle. That's why I figured I'd spend my life in high school with simple things. I see. That's incredible, Kusanagi! I just destroyed everything you put in an effort for. We gotta help each other. It wasn't a situation where we could pick and choose. You really don't have to worry about it. But you're saving me way too much. I can't give anything back. You saved me first. People would always make fun of me in class for being poor, and I was all alone. And you always shared your food with me. It wasn't like you had a lot to spare. I am sorry that you had to have eaten my crappy food. To me, it was a gourmet meal. I never would have known how much I could appreciate a simple meal if I hadn't tried living a simpler life. You taught me so much. I feel like this isn't enough to repay you. You're being dramatic. I really didn't do that much. Maybe not to you, but you really don't have to worry about anything anymore. Just rest. I want you to get better soon. Okay, thank you. She stayed over for three days recovering. She was here until she got better from her cold. As she recovered, I also left my parents' house to go back to my simple life. She kept thanking me, but I kept telling her to not worry, because we had to help each other out. Look at you! Always eating some crappy meal with one rice ball and one egg. I always tell you guys, this is totally enough for me. After getting some nutritional advice from Miss Asamiya, I added a boiled egg to my lunch. Normally just the rice ball was enough, so it was perfect. Man, it must suck being so poor. You don't have any money to play and you're constantly working. What do you live for anyway? Studying mostly. I started high school to study. This isn't to play around. Are you just trying to play tough? I guess you can't survive if you don't lie to yourself like that. Just being born to a poor family means you're a loser. I guess I'm a loser too. Miss Asamiya came interrupting their mockery. Everyone was surprised, including me. What are you doing, Miss Asamiya? What are you saying? You're not poor like him, are you? I didn't tell anyone, but my house is poor too. I live alone with my mom in a tiny apartment. I work every day and I'm no different from Kusanagi. You're kidding! There's no way that you're- The reason I'm always turning you idiots down is because I don't have any money to play and I have to go to work. But I enjoy my life. I have friends and all the people at work are kind. I feel the warmth of people. Stop mocking people based on your own personal values. The class felt quiet after her coming out. No one imagined the school Madonna to be living a poor life. If that were the case, you should have said something. I'll cover the money to go hang out, and I'll give you nice food, too. I don't accept that kind of help from people. I especially don't get help from people who make fun of others because they're poor. No, we weren't making fun of you. You said poor people are losers, right? She returned the exact comment that they had just told me, and they were unable to say anything back. They probably didn't want to make fun of Miss Asamiya. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kusanagi, for always making fun of you. If you need help, let us know. Sure. They must have thought that it wasn't a good look to be making fun of Miss Asamiya. It didn't matter that she was poor like me. It mattered that she was a pretty, popular girl. However, I'm sure it helped that she was a kind person. I realized how important it was to have friendships. Thank you for covering for me, Miss Asamiya. You gotta help each other out. I'm sorry I didn't step in sooner. I'm still glad that you saved me, though. But are you sure you wanted to tell everyone about your living conditions? 
I didn't like that you were always mocked, so this was fine. I'm sorry, I didn't know, Haruna. If you have anything you need, you could just ask me, okay? Sure, thank you. Her friends helped her out. She said she would carry all the weight on her shoulders, but it turned out that I was the one that was doing exactly that. I guess you can't tell what it's like to be poor just by pretending to live a simple life. People stopped making fun of me thanks to Miss Asamiya. But that didn't mean that I had friends. It was time to start deciding what to do for the rest of my life. I was still a loner in my senior year, but I had a good relationship with Miss Asamiya. Thank you for always sending me off, Kusanagi. You're welcome. After work, I always made sure to send her off to work. So, what are you going to do after you graduate? I'm going to college. I'm going to study more in college and work at my father's company. I see. Your family seems incredible, so I'm sure it's pretty tough, huh? Yeah, probably. What about you? I'm gonna find a job. I'm going to make money and help my mom live a better life. You really love your family, huh? So, I have a favor to ask you. Once I find a job and have a little bit extra money, would you like to go on a date with me? A date? I like you. I remember you saved me from when I had a fever, and how you always protect me on my way home. Maybe I'm not good enough for you, but I want to be by your side, even after we graduate. I'm glad you'd say that. I want someone who's willing to consider others, even when she's not in the best of situations, too. I like you. Asamiya helped me when I was pretending to be poor. I learned so much from her. It was more than enough to be attracted to all of her qualities. Okay, Kusanagi. Maybe it's a little too soon, but I guess it's a promise? She came up in front of me and closed her eyes. I came in with no doubt and gave her a nice kiss. I'm so excited to go on a date with you. Me too. If I asked for financial help, my family would help us out in a heartbeat. But she didn't want that. I think that if I didn't rely too much on others, and with the support of Miss Asamiya, I could do great things in the future. Thank you for watching. How was today's video? Please check out our other videos as well.